my birth my birthday is May twenty nine. Go ahead. I, I I wanted to have a party on that weekend or just have people over, which would be I don't know May twenty seven or something. And what? Uh, I saw it, but I had the walk of course. I would have been here, man. I'm. That's it, what they all say. But it was that's, last that's moment. I get it, dude. I'm just another Brian. Too. No, but, you're not, man. It, it's like you made it. Like you, I got the invite on Facebook like I know, two I days know. later. I know. Do we have to arrange well, another boxing match? Oh shit! No, how about better start training, man? How about a little more notice next time? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go train at my bar, Weenie Hut Juniors. That's right. Go to the brewery, do some yep. working out. Yep. Well, no. So okay. So here's how my fucking birthday went. You won't believe this, Ross. Tuesday was my actual birthday, 29th, mm-hmm. right? I'm driving home. Kelly calls me to wish me a happy birthday. Right when she calls me. I hit the brakes and slam into someone at <laughs> fucking 30 miles an hour. Dent my hood up. Like, it just kind of dent up. The engine kind of moved like an inch forward, but it didn't really break anything. It just kind of dented forward. And this lady pops out. She was uh, late, uh, and she's like a nurse. So I'm just like, oh, fuck, I better get the fuck out of this. And she's like, what? You must be on drugs. I'm telling you, kid, you better watch out, kiddo. You better. I I was not expecting that. Are you on something? Are you on something? Because I was so tired from work. I was just kind of like, all right, where's your insurance? All right, let's get this over with. It's like, are you on? I'm like, I don't want to tell her. You know, this is like my 14th crash in my life. So ah, this is just routine. No, but so I crash in her, give her 300 bucks. She luckily she only noticed like a scratch on her bumper when her entire uh, exhaust pipe was dented like ripped open so uh she gave me three i get home i'm like i'm fucking tired as hell i don't want to do shit gavin comes he goes i heard about this oh about the dog shit yeah 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 but i couldn't understand what you meant on facebook well well, yeah so no i'll 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 see it on the all our love in ireland has to hear about this because i wonder Mm -hmm. if they you know this is like but this only happens in this fucking country this is like some jerry springer shit okay because i get I get yeah. Gavin's friend, he's got a small friend named uh, Arshus. He's he, he has like a hmm. he something. Um, I don't know if he has like maybe dwarfism or was just uh, born prematurely. But he's like a, a lot smaller than the rest of the kids. Even smaller than Gavin. Yeah. Okay. But he doesn't have like a huge forehead. Like I don't know what the proper term like midgetism or. How's his fingers? You out of them have like. No, no. Sausage. He he looks like a normal kid. He's just small, like like Tinkerbell. So you know. Okay. But anyways. He doesn't fly around, but anyways, <laughs> he um, Gavin's. Hey, my buddy got punched in the face for no reason, and I'm like, okay, well, I mean, how would you guys handle this if you had a kid? It's a tough thing to handle at first, right? It, like, Gavin did get punched. His buddy did. His buddy did. What, what, so how so, do? You, so his parents could have get involved. Well, his parents, I guess, they couldn't speak well English because they're Indian. Okay. And Bill told me, I think you said like you just stay out of it, like. Not get involved, yeah, right? Not your chair, not your problem. Yeah, no. yeah. Well, me, I I didn't know the complete story. And, you know, kids can fucking make up shit. So I'm like, let me know what happened. Long story short, this kid, uh, they were playing, like, Ross, you ever play, uh, like, uh, Lava? Yes. Or, like, Blyman's Bluff? Yes, I did. Yeah, or Wood Chips, yeah. So the kid tried to jump on a rock or a platform where... The bully tried to jump on where the Indian kid was mm-hmm. by pushing him off into the wood chips. Instead, he slipped, fell on his back, and then punched the kid like three times in the face. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Let's go talk to the mom. I'm walking. The kid's running by, this 10-year-old, flicking me off, saying, fuck you, motherfucker. Fuck you, motherfucker. A 10-year-old. So I'm like, okay. I think I know what happened. You know. <laughs> so I'm trying to make it. Ho- so, I mean, I, I, I tried to run to his house before him. And just just to see like what what is and his mom's like calling everyone in. She looks like a she looks like some trailer trash crack whore. She's in her fucking undershirt, her sag nips showing, you know, sausage links drooping, you know. Mm. And so that's a, that sounds sexy to me, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Imagine how those can twirl, especially on a sweaty day. Oh, yeah. D- yeah. And she lives close to here. She yeah, she lives like a like a block away. All right, Ross, let's go. So you want a double di- double deco? No, Ross. We're just talking about the nips right now. Oh. You're already moving to like I don't even know what base that is because <laughs> I don't want to know what that base looks like. You know, 
No, but a- anyways, so uh, I'm like, hey, you know, I heard your kid's a bully. Um, I don't know if it's true, but I heard he kid punches, he punches this kid in the face. And she, like, before I could finish my message, she's like, no, no, that kid punches people in the face. He punches. I'm like, that guy? He's the smallest kid in the group. Is he some fucking, like, Indian samurai? Are you fucking kidding me? He he punched. She's like, yeah, yeah, I got it on video. And and at that point, Tyler, the bully, he's mooning me. His ten year old sack is pressed up against the window through in their house while I'm talking to his mom. I'm like, this family is so full of shit. And speaking of shit, she's got twenty fucking dog shits on her front lawn, all over the fucking place. Are they uh, Trump supporters? Probably the the sh- the dog shits, not the family, right? Both, both, yeah, yeah. I mean, you wanna you wanna have a fraudulent vote to have more. You exactly, it's just register th- each sh- shit. Oh, here's Mister Peanut. Here's Mister Corn. You know, and this, these are the kind of people that makes uh, exactly what makes America look bad. Yeah, it is. It is, and and you know what? That's the fun. I, I mean, I'm not gonna get into politics, but it's no. funny how everybody like it, w- in these town in like townhouses and shit. How everybody's like, "Oh yeah, it's some fucking black guy under foreclosure." No, it's some white trash who doesn't know how to use a fucking condom. You mm-hmm. know, and any anyways, she uh, she's like, "No, I got." Inv-. I'm like, "Okay, so I'm so pissed because I could tell the truth." I'm like. I, I'm I'm tired, but I could still talk shit, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so, so I look high out of my mind because I'm talking the worst shit, but I'm just like completely monotone, like like I just got a Xanax or something, you know. And I'm just like, yeah, you know. Well, uh, so that's what you do. What does um, that sound? Oh, that's the table creaking. Oh. Sorry, I'll get off of it. But no, so I'm like, so that's what you do. You get a, uh, you see kids fighting. You go polish up that meth pipe, pack it. And you're like, I'm gonna videotape some kids. That's the kind of parent you are. You're gonna, you're just gonna watch some kids. And she's like, Get the fuck off my property! Get the fuck out of here! Get out of here! I'm like, you know, before you send in that video of kids fighting, you should tape some of these dog shits right here. Zoom in on here. You got a new phone. Zoom in on that texture of the steaming shit right here. She takes a dog shit and throws it at my face. And this is all my birthday. This is all my birthday. Takes a dog, and then I'm like, All right, I think that's assault. Meanwhile, there's seven. There's like ten kids. The whole fucking Sandlot crew chilling there. Oh yeah. And and the the ki- the the kids' parents, you know, who can't speak English well. They're all watching this whole thing. I'm like, you know what? I'll I'll I think I'll call the cops. And it's my birthday, so I'll press charges because it's it's my fucking birthday. I got dog shit in my face. So cops come. Long story short, he's like, no, you know what? You need to cool down. You guys need to just walk home. I'm like, how the fuck is that legal? How is that legal? I see all. I I I keep having hope for good fucking cops, despite all these viral videos of cops shooting fucking people for no fucking reason. Give me a reason to be, you know. All right, hang on. Let's back up. Yeah. What did you hope would happen when you? Well, I was I was hoping she'd get charged or fined with something. No, no, no. Before that. Before. uh, Before that, when you went to her house. Oh, I was just hoping she'd talk to her kid and be like, you know, you really need to like settle down. That's what I would do to Gavin if he did something like that. But Gab is not ca- um, ca- capable of punching anybody. I don't think he's not. He's too much of a good kid. I mean, any kid is capable of that shit. You know, kids. I I mean, I don't know. He's just some not, pe- not to mention ki- kids punch stuff for on an accident. Maybe like they're on impulse. You know, like a, you know, they get really hurt. Or, you know, I didn't even like what I'm trying to say is he he could have been a friend who just punched him, not a bully. But then when I hear, you know, he's constantly swearing, constantly punching kids, and then you know. Showing me his ten-year-old nutsack through the window. Obviously, this kid has a fucking problem, you know. So, I, a, anyways, I, I, I oh, was yeah. I was hoping it would just be talked out and be like, "Hey, don't do this anymore," or at least just get the right story because I didn't even know what the fucking story was. I didn't want to get involved. But it's, but it sounds to me he might have a problem, or he's just a spoiled brat. The kid who punched? No, 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 not the kid who punched the guy. Yeah, no, he's 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 just a redneck. Yeah. He's a fucking redneck, and and so I. Uh, I don't think you can say you didn't want to get involved. Well, no, I didn't want I didn't I didn't want it to escalate to something. I wanted to get involved by just being like, "Hey, you know, and, and like parents meeting each other sort of, you know, like, "Hey, my name is Phil, blah blah blah, whatnot." And I I, you know, I think maybe your child needs to cool it down a little bit. I I I don't know what the whole story is. Uh, did you talk to him what the whole story was? I really I know it's hard to believe that I'm capable of this type of t- 
chill temperament. No, you but, you're a stepdad, and you know you yeah. you, you you have to you know learn to you know be not a, not a, yeah a not to mention this is yeah. the first you, like I I I don't mean to sound blunt to you guys about this. You won't know what the fuck it feels like until you have a kid because no, it's like I the first it's the first time that you deal with something like that. Yeah, you but know? nothing happened to your kid. Oh yeah, no no nothing. And, well, I mean, I was trying to figure out what happened. I, I didn't. I didn't know what happened. So this could happen potentially to Gavin. This. This. Asshole. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that, not to mention, Ga- Gavin doesn't like to share that stuff. So maybe it could have happened to him before, because he said, "Oh, he does it to people all the time." So I, I don't know. He could. It could happen before, and Gavin just took care of it himself because he's not, you know, the smallest kid in the group. Yeah. So, anyways. Uh yeah, she's like, get the fuck off my property. The cops They're, come, they ask you to leave. Yeah, cool yeah they out. ask me to leave. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, so if it's not illegal, that means you guys could leave. And you know, she she threw like the twentieth shit at me, so I could gather up all these, uh, you know, nineteen shits, make a nice little pie, and just mash it into her face because it's you know it's legal, America. You know, and they're like, no, why would you do that? That's indignant. That's indignant. They kept saying that. I'm like. Well, I just I think she should be pressed charges all the way. She, she, and she, like, sorry, go ahead. And they're like, no, 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 that's fine. I'm like, all right, I am tired. I just got out of a car accident. Please, officer, I'll be as polite as possible. You tell me if you were in my shoes how you would deal with this. And he's like, well, obviously they're not a very stable family. We've gotten calls from by, because of them before. If I were you, I would contact association and have them fine for all those dog shits right there. I'm like, okay. I go to the corner. I wait for the association lady because I guess she got called because everybody in the neighborhood is out at this time seeing that there's fucking cops everywhere and this sausage link broad, you know, yelling at me and twirling full speed, you know. So she calls her ex-husband and tells him that I was about to beat her up or the, and, that, and that I'm stalking her their kid. So he comes by and he's like, Somebody got a problem with my son? Somebody got a problem with my son? I'm like, I, I'm I'm so pissed because I, I realize she's not going to get press charges. And the cops left at this point. I'm just waiting for the association lady. I'm like, you know, yeah, I do have a problem. You need to fucking take that pit bull off that leash and put your fucking redneck family on that leash. And he's like, what? What would you say? What would you say? I'm like, yeah, you know what? I, I heard your... Or, or that, and that wife keeps yelling. You need to get that stinky Indian and that illegal Russian off the fucking lawn and go back to where they came from. And I just kept going like, "But Mother Russia, Mother Russia," and then she she keeps yelling. And so I'm just like, "Listen, your wife makes awesome videos. I heard. What which cousin is Tyler fucking next?" He's like, "What the fuck did you say? What the fuck? You talking about my kid cousin and fucking his cousin?" Blah, blah. And um, I think the. The he that's when he started pushing me with his chest. By the way, he would have totally torn me apart. He was the size of a football player. So I'm and and I kept talking trash, you know. Let oh, him you should let him hit you so you can actually get campus jaws. I, I was trying to do that, but here's the catch. Another neighbor call sees him he, he's the, the the ex started pushing me with his chest, you know, when people try and start a fight. And I'm just, and I and I started get, egging him on. I'm just like, oh, dude, come on, man. I, th- those are some nice titties, <laughs> way better than those saggy things in back of you. I could see why she's an ex, man. And and he's like, what, what? And he keeps egg- so somebody thought he he was gonna hit me, so they called the cops again. They come back. Before they come back, the association lady is walking across the lawn because she heard the whole story from the neighbor. And there's shits, and she's like, "This is you're getting fined for this steak. You can't stake a dog outside. You can't have. You got to clean up after your dog. You got about twenty crabs. You're getting fined. You're getting fined." The ex runs over, throws the fucking lady on the pavement. There was a seventy year old lady. The cops come back, and I'm like, "Okay, so dog shit is an assault. Being ra- calling me a, a, a legal Russian and then a, a stinky Indian isn't race. You know, somehow racist or harassment." And then throwing a fucking old lady on the ground isn't assaulted. And they're like, no, no, you stayed here. You didn't go home. You you instigated this. So we're not pressing any tra- And they left. So that's how that story ends. Yeah. Why won't this stay? It will stay. Can here, I'll pa- get it to stay. Can you pause it or you don't care? I don't care. Now, it's, now it'll stay. All right, thank you. I gotta say, Phil, you know, be, being a parent, it's not always, it's not easy, is it? No, 
And, and, and you know what's – well, okay, so this got dragged out more because a week or two later, that kid doesn't play with that group of kids anymore. It doesn't play anymore. Because I, 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 I took the manly – well, I had a man discussion with Gavin and his friends, and I said, you know, if anything like that happens to Tyler, you just, you know, kind of gang fight Clockwork Orange on him. You know? <laughs> they they won't know what that means. Well, I, 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 I explained where to hit him and shit. You know. Oh, gotcha. So you're gonna put a. You gotta be a good father. You're gonna put a you know? dick in, in somebody's mouth. <clears throat> I don't think that happened in Clockwork Orange. I, I thought he saw the at the end before he went to the jail, he put. He put a dick in it. No. No, it was a, it was a big uh, statue. Oh yeah, no. In the beginning, yeah, yeah, no. There's a lady that he burglarizes who has. Uh, she's like an Andy Warhol avant garde lady. Yes. And she's got a huge chair. Out of uh, like porcelain, that's a large dick and balls. Yes, and, and, and he smashes he, her face with yeah, it. It's that, yeah, that that kind of thing. I mean, if I had a dick and ball statue, I'd totally give it to I'm you. I'm really surprised you and Kelly don't, don't have one yet. I mean, I don't know. It really add to the I'm, basement. I may might might make one out of my father's. You know, <laughs> <laughs> that's but, so that's so wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but anyway, any so the next two weeks they would play and and uh, that white trash whore. Kept screaming and calling Gavin a, a little bitch. Can you fucking believe that? It's like you little bitch. That's how bitches wear like your father. And I, I'm like, I'm gonna let it go. You know, I'll, I'll give it three strikes. There was never a third strike. He literally we, called Gavin yeah, a little bitch. She did. What? What? Kind every, of, every single day for two weeks. What kind of low life? Yeah, cunt exactly. Bitch would call such a great kid like Gavin. Exactly. Yes. What kind of low life cunt would do that? To, I, I, okay. And please tell I'm Kelly. A, I'm, I'm a weird motherfucker. And please tell Kelly I said that. Yeah. No. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm I'm a weird motherfucker, and I I can I I have a explosion of emotions. Mm. I don't. I have never in my life tried to think. I I can't come up with a solution. How the fuck can you be a grown adult, and 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 call a little kid a bitch, a ten year old like like at some especially someone else's kid. Yeah. Maybe if you're like homeless and you're having a bad crack trip. But, I mean, I don't know. It's that, just, that's just our times. I don't I know. Yeah. I, I'm growing up, I don't know. You guys growing up, do you ever heard of uh, something like this? A t- any 10-year-old parent called anybody a 10-year-old? I, I, I had a 30-year-old call me an asshole, but that was after I took a shit in his car seat. Okay. That's, so it's kind you of were being an asshole. Yeah, yeah. So it was well-deserved. Yeah. And the, yeah. Mm-hmm. And I'm glad that she didn't do the third strike, by the way, because there's a lot of geese. Like get kid, uh, hit around here, mm-hmm. and you know she thinks she's gonna scare me with her ex. Well, um, I was gonna get one of the geese that were hit because I'm against animal cruelty, um, and I was gonna crucify it on her door. So, man, don't you consider yourself Buddhist? Yeah, and that like agrees with your. I, I think I, I consider myself a Taoist, mm. and and that's kind of like a. Yin and Yang, it's sort of like a, um, I guess I sort of read it and calibrated it with my own life in the sense that because because Taoism and Buddhism isn't a religion. You don't worship or idolize. You just sort of get a guidebook to life. Sure. Like if this shit will, if this shit, you know, if you put towards this type of energy, this type of energy type comes, you know, to you, comes back to you. So I think if somebody... If she crucified a goose on my door, I would probably bake her some cookies, you know, well, yes, if that you, karma flew back. You said Buddha is not a religion. How is Mormon a, a religion then? Yeah, Phil. Because I, I, I consider uh, Buddha more religion than Mormon any day of the week. Yeah. I don't know. You, because Mormon is a, uh, well, I mean, I guess like every religion, but it's, I think, the most obvious way of uh, just a money. Exactly. Money scam. And, and they com- kind of com- like Scientology completely took over Salt Salt Lake City and half of Utah yeah. is yeah. that religion, and um and I agree Scientology is even worse. What yeah. they what they worship is complete nonsense, man. Well, okay, I just want to know. So, how would you guys react? I want to know. Everybody, including the old lady that got thrown on the ground, told me that she was very happy that I didn't. Um, that she she couldn't believe that I was that calm. Because she said that I looked like somebody who'd murder somebody. That's Wait, she, that calm? You were like insulting 
the ex-husband's ex-wife you were yeah but i wasn't like antagonizing uh, her no i mean i was i was screaming and out of energy and i I wasn't screaming and i was out of energy and i was kind of like monotone the whole time kind of like uh I'm trying to think of, like Stephen Wright almost, you know. Sure. I, I would say I'm very so. proud of you because it's, this would have been the Well, how how would you I mean either I know that especially but like you wouldn't escalate it to a, a, that far. But I mean, how would you for example react to somebody throwing a piece of shit at you for for you trying to solve a problem? I you know? think you're looking at it from a parent point of view. No, from a perspective that like I don't know what I would do if someone threw a piece of shit at me. Also, I would probably not wind up in that position because I wouldn't take it upon myself to lecture a parent about behavior that one I didn't see and two didn't affect my yeah kid. I would reasonably like let the school know. Like, oh yeah, actually the that week that um that that happened. Uh, they both go to the same aftercare and I went to the aftercare to be like, Hey, I just want you to know, I don't want my kid playing around this kid. Does he ever bully kids here? And, and he's like, no, 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 none of the kids play with him. I'm like, Oh, well that kind of makes sense. Uh, and then I told them this, uh, like what happened, you know? And they're like, Oh, Oh wow. Yeah. You know what? We're not supposed to talk about this, but that makes a lot of sense because, uh, that, the the ma the white trash chick she got arrested before at aftercare because apparently she doesn't have full custody of the kids so when she went to go and sign them out they wouldn't let her because she's not like on the list so she just tried legally i guess kidnapping them and the cops came so i'm like oh okay and that's kind of where i let it go because i'm like they got enough fucking problems in their life right you know you don't you, you don't know what shit that kid's gonna go through, you know. When you when you finish vi- uh, visit your family in Poland, does this shit happen all over the world? With no, dude, I I hate to say it and I hate to hate on this country because there's a lot of things, but this shit only happens in America. No way. Yeah, that's such a generalization. There it, are it does. bullies in other countries. There are there are, are there are bullies, but. The, like like something like the shit you see on Jerry Springer, there's no such thing as that in, in any other country. What, can, what, can I do this? It, people who are watching Ireland, what we're talking about, it is ever you ever heard this? Yeah, or please ever, comment. Please okay. comment. Yes, because sometimes us Americans feel like we do always hear this shit happen in this country. I mean, or like even like shootings. Yeah. You know, does it happen anywhere else? Well, I hear a lot of countries who don't have guns. They have um, knives. Um, knives mean like. Massacres, so they go around stabbing people, but not as much as like shooting, shootings, like at schools. Yeah, I mean, I'm 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 not trying to talk. Sh- it's, that's just true, you know. Well, we have the right because we were born in this country, and we have a right to, you know, yeah, mark our country. And not to mention, you know, when you when you take everything into consideration, like there should be the most fucking tension in a country where so many different cultures are blending together. Exactly. So it is going to happen here. Yeah, you know. I just think it's a little short-sighted to say, like, this only happens in America. Like, no. I mean, like, people are people everywhere. Yeah. I don't think it's an American condition. I think it's maybe a human condition that people get f- emotional and, and angry and consequently throw dog shit. Well, I just think that's as low as low you can do, throwing dog shit at somebody. It's like, it's almost like it's worse than taking that shit. Almost as bad as taking a shit on somebody. Wow, 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 wow.